The first cast on I'm going to show you is called the backward loop cast on, also known as the E cast on. It begins with a slip knot, which we learned in the last video. You do not need a long tail for this cast on as you will be using your working yarn to create your stitches. So you'll put your slip knot on your needle, holding your tail out of the way. Your working yarn is now hanging down and you want to take your thumb behind the yarn and grasp the working yarn with your pinky and ring finger, taking your needle and putting it under the loop that you now created with your thumb. You now have two stitches on the needle. The first one was your slip knot. The second one is the one that you created with your E or backward loop cast on. So again, your pinky and your ring finger are holding the yarn. Your thumb comes behind the yarn. Your needle goes under the yarn, pulling up that loop and onto the needle. Thumb behind the yarn, needle under, onto the needle. One more time, thumb behind the yarn, your needle under, creating the next loop on your needle. This type of cast on is the easiest to teach children and is also very beneficial when you are doing a garment that calls for, let's say a button, where you need to create a buttonhole where you would cast off in the one part of the row and then cast on back into the middle and that would leave you a hole in the center for your button. And that is how you would do the backwards loop or E cast on.